less Concordia. Minister, it's estimated that up to 50,000 Irish people are living in the shadows and fear of de deportation from the United States. The E3 visa was reintroduced, uh, legislation was reintroduced in Congress uh, during the summer and I'm seeking an update uh, on the progress in relation to that and the good work done to date by Deputy John DC. Um, thanks, Deputy. Um, the House will be aware that the Taoiseach and I have prioritised the issue of Irish immigration in the US since, since taking office. Uh, I've continuously raised immigration issues, particularly the E3 visa, uh, in all my interactions with the US administration and US political leaders. In April, I discussed these matters with the Speaker of the House of Representatives, uh, Nancy Pelosi, and her congressional delegation when they visited Ireland. Uh, the Taoiseach also raised the issue of E3 visa uh, during his high-level engagements with the US, including during the uh, uh, visit uh, of uh, President Trump this summer. The President uh, commented positively uh, in indicating his support, and I do want to recognize the very strong support that we've got from the White House uh, uh, and the President of the United States on this issue. Um, the issue was also raised with Vice President P uh, Pence uh, during his visit earlier in September. Our embassy in Washington, D.C. continues its extensive outreach in support of the E3 bill, uh, working with a range of members of the US House of Representatives and the Senate from both sides of the aisle. A special envoy to the uh, US Congress on the undocumented, Deputy John DC, has also worked closely on this issue with, with my department engaging with key US stakeholders. Uh, he has met with senior officials uh, in the US administration and with representatives from the US uh, Congress in relation to this bill, most recently during the visit to Washington DC, DC in September. Um, uh, he is uh, supported in his work uh, by the America's unit in, in my department and our embassy in Washington. I understand that he'll be traveling there again soon to continue his work. The proposed E3 visa bill uh, which would offer new opportunities for Irish citizens to live and work in the U.S. was introduced into the U.S. Congress in May by Congressman Richie Neal, who many of us in this House will know well. Uh, it remains before the House of Representatives. Uh, it is my hope that a vote of approval will be passed in this term of Congress and that the bill will go to the Senate uh, for its approval and final implementation. Uh, much work needs to be done uh, for this bill to become a reality and we're under no illusions that it's a challenging path ahead. But we were very close, Deputy, as you know, to getting this through previously. And in fact, we were one vote short in the Senate of this legislation passing previously. So I hope this time uh, we will be uh, one step ahead uh, uh, of where we were the last time. But we have a lot of friends on Capitol Hill who have been hugely helpful in these efforts. Minister, thank you for your response. Um, as you know, there are many uh, Irish citizens who have made the United States their home. They have family, they have children there, they have good jobs, and they're contributing as good uh, citizens to the United States. As you also know, Minister, during the summer, a number of raids were carried out uh, throughout the United States, which have terrified Irish communities um, uh, across the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, and I think there needs to be a legal pathway put in place. I think the E3 uh, visa is a mechanism to do that. Uh, and I thank the Minister for his, his positive comments regarding the potential progress of this legislation uh, through uh, the House of Congress. And can I urge you, Minister, to redouble efforts to ensure that it does get through Congress and uh, has a, a, an easier ride uh, through uh, the US Senate than it did on the last occasion. Yeah, and I think it's, it's important to state to the House what, what the E3 visa would actually do and what it is. Um, this essentially is, is Ireland looking to, uh, to avail of unused visas that would have been allocated to Australian citizens. Uh, the US and Australia have a, have a unique arrangement whereby a certain number of visas are provided for each year. Um, and it is the visas that are unused uh, from, um, from the allocation each year that the following year we are proposing could be used by Irish people. So we've given absolute assurance to the, to the Australian government and their embassy in Washington that we're not looking to take Australian visas. We're simply looking to use unused visas the following year. Um, uh, and that is essentially the approach of the E3 bill. 
um, which would provide for um, uh, a, a, uh, a two or three thousand visas potentially uh, each year for, for Irish people to be able to travel and work in the US. I think the E3 approach is very limited in terms of what it can do for undocumented um, uh, Irish people in the US who, who, yes, I think are really concerned at the moment. Uh, we're also trying to work to find a pathway for them, but I think that is going to take a little longer. Specific point, uh, and I think we do need a clear legal pathway to regularise the status of, of Irish citizens uh, living in the United States without documentation, who are contributing to the economy there. And can I put it to you, Minister, uh, is there not an opportunity to have some form of a bilateral arrangement uh, where we could reciprocate in regularising the situation of undocumented persons here in relation to US citizens here. But as you know, Minister, there are quite a lot of other nationalities from outside of the European Union who are resident here in Ireland, who are contributing to our economy here in Ireland, whose children are sitting beside our own uh, children in schools, uh, learning Irish, playing hurling and football, uh, and who yet remain undocumented here and could we look at some type of reciprocal arrangement uh, between the United States uh, and the Republic of Ireland? Well, Deputy, in relation to the E3 bill, um, that requires reciprocal arrangements on our side. So, you know, in return for um, receiving uh, visas for Irish citizens to travel and work and live uh, in a way that's um, fully documented, in the US, uh, we are also proposing a package of measures uh, for US citizens who are here or for US citizens who would like to come here to retire or to, um, um, uh, or to work. Uh, and so the idea is that there would be a reciprocal arrangement that the E3 process would benefit predominantly young people who want to go and work in the US, but maybe not so young as well. Um, and, and in return for that, we would make Ireland uh, an easier place uh, for US citizens to come and work uh, or potentially to come and re uh, retire here. Um, that's a completely different issue to the issue that, that you've raised at the end, which is how do we deal with undocumented people in Ireland? Um, uh, and I think that's a, probably an ongoing debate for another day. Next question, uh